Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Robin with Robin Southern Nest. So as you can see here, I'm just putting away some groceries. On Mondays, I like to go to the grocery store. I really wish that I could put them away this fast and take them into the house. That's always the worst, making trips back and forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little clean with me video today after the long weekend. And let's just get started. So I had the dishwasher to unload from yesterday. There was plenty of dishes from getting Easter dinner ready. Um, it was just the two of us over the weekend and I actually really enjoyed it. It was nice and quiet. We took a little family walk. So it was nice to have just a relaxing holiday. And if you are coming over from my Instagram account, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. I'm going to start putting all of my cleaning videos here on YouTube. I used to do them both on Instagram and YouTube, but I figured the longer videos needed to be housed over here. So let me know if you're coming over from Instagram. I'd love to hear you guys in the comments. So I'm sure there's many of you trying to get your houses back in order if you hosted over the weekend. Um, I just, this is probably my normal Monday routine, but there were a few other things that I needed to take care of, like clearing off the dining room table. So we'll get to that in a second. But for one, I always like to have the kitchen all picked up and ready to go for the week. And after getting all of the dishes put away and out of the sink, um, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down the sink with my clear stainless steel spray. I love it. It's one of my new favorite products. You can check it out on my Instagram. And it had been a while since I had um, machine washed this rug that's in our kitchen. It's a ruggable, so you can easily put it in the um, washing machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because of all the pollen and the dust and the dander. Um, after cooking, it just gets gross. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the washing machine. Now that that rug is out of the way, I can go ahead and Swiffer the floor. And then I'm going to go in with a Squirt and Mop by Method. It's one of my favorites for hardwood flooring. I don't like to use any steam mops on our floors just because they're old and I'm just afraid of the moisture. So this is an easy product just to squirt down on the floor and then I just use my Swiffer to wipe it up. So I always like to ask what kind of music y'all like listening to while you're cleaning. Of course, I would love to put on some um, real music that I actually listen to on YouTube. But of course, with copyright, I don't want to get in trouble. So let me know if you like a combination of fast music and slow music down in the comments. While the floor is drying in the kitchen, I'm gonna move on to the dining room and pick up all of the decor that I laid out for our tablescape. Of course, like I said before, it was just Chris and I over the Easter weekend. So a lot of this was unused. So I just need to put it away and get it all clear so I can go ahead and vacuum in here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I mentioned we found a wallpaper for this room. It's kind of been a year progress to figure out what paper to do in here, but Chris and I finally figured out a good one to do. So I'm excited to get it ordered and put up hopefully within the next month. So stay tuned for that. And our den wasn't too messy. I just had a few things to pick up, fluff up the pillows, and then I need to run the vacuum in here because it is a hot mess. We take the dog out through the, the side door here 
So a lot of like grass gets pulled in from this. And I also cleaned out underneath the TV, which the vacuum does not fit under. So I had to get my Swiffer under there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was disgusting. I should have taken a video, <laughs> but I forgot. So all the dust that I had gotten underneath there because Kato lost his bone under it last night. So I took my Swiffer and I like, you know, shoved it out and there's all this dog hair that was just trapped underneath that cabinet. So that was gross. And so it just needed a good vacuuming in here. And I'm gonna show you guys the vacuum in just a second. It's absolutely disgusting. So get ready for that. Hmm, lovely. And just an FYI, it's yellow because of the pollen. I hadn't um, uh, emptied the canister from when I cleaned or vacuumed off our back porch. So the pollen wasn't from our house, but the dander definitely was. So that was disgusting in all ways. So that's probably why I'm so stuffed up. <laughs> and now that the rug is finished, I'm gonna go ahead and start on our regular laundry and get that going as well. It was also time to strip the bed and do all the sheets. I had just done the duvet last week, so I like to have those on like different schedules. I don't know, it's just less washing for me <laughs> if I do it like in two different days. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip the bed down and get that going as well. I didn't realize that I almost hit the cat with the sheets that I was throwing in the corner. So whoops, sorry, Sunny D. And one last thing before I start folding laundry for the day and the rest of the evening, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down this counter in our laundry room because this is where Sunny sleeps on this counter. So before I do any laundry, I like to give it a good like scrub down and make sure there's no cat hair before I fold laundry. So thank you guys so much for flying by today. I hope you've enjoyed this little clean with me video. I'm gonna be coming out with ones every week for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye y'all.